right, this is just another come along with me to check out my beautiful subculture. So this is a Fralia, starts with a C, Catathania or Catathania, I don't remember. You can see, look at that beautiful cluster. This is from an embryogenic callus from seed. Um, I'm gonna be taking some of them apart and I'm also gonna be keeping some of them together because I would love to root uh, clustered Fralia. Um, but you have to remember that they're all coming from separate root systems. So technically it's a bunch, not really a multi-head. So let's see. Let's see how it falls apart first. It's kind of what I'm a little curious about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just, I'm pressing on it very, very um, lightly. Um, to see if it'll fall apart naturally or if I'm gonna actually have to break apart. So right now, this callus that you see that's coming right off, this is called friable callus. You'll see that in a lot of papers. Friable callus means that the callus just falls right off for the most part. Um, as far as the debate between, you know, what does embryogenic callus look like in my experience, you know, I've done many different species, not, you know, other than cactus, um, and I don't believe that there's a way to tell. A lot of people will be like, oh, the one that's green or something like that, but I've seen white callus also be embryogenic. Um, and if you think about the principles of plant science, every single cell is totipotent, which means everyone can become um, a stem cell, you know, a meristematic cell. Yeah, it's actually stuck together, so I'm gonna have to break the bunch. So I'm gonna kind of go naturally wherever it, where it wants to break. So I'm just going in the center, wow. It's very compact. I was actually not expecting this at all. So I'm gonna have to actually break it. Let's see if, oh yeah, so it's, it's, it's actually does seem to be a multi-headed cluster. And I feel like if you could root that main base, you could have a multi-headed fralia plant, which would be pretty cool. But we're just gonna go ahead and separate them out. I'm gonna keep them in, in tri-bunches, so three per each one just for right now, since we have nine. I think that'll, that'll subculture really well, right? So I have my box. I'm gonna go ahead and try not to damage it too much. Remember when you're sticking something inside a tissue culture media, you want it to be half in the media and then half out of the media. The more contact, the better. Just needs airflow as well. All right, so there's one from that cluster. Go ahead and take number two of that cluster. and three of that cluster. Look at this, this is beautiful, beautiful. Wow, it's one of my favorite cactus I've, I've done tissue culture with. So let's go ahead. I couldn't remember the name, so I put Black Barrel, but now I know it is Afralia. Um, and it was started in September. So we've got a lot of growth, a lot of plants um, since then. This is actually another box from the same, um, what do you call it, it's, uh, embryogenic callus. It's actually all from the same. Wow. A monster. So again, I'm just kind of pushing off this callus that just wants to fall off or maybe it looks kind of, I don't wanna say dead, but filled with metabolites. So whenever you see that dark color, it's usually a lot of antioxidants or starch granules. Um, nothing to worry about, but not something that we really want. Um, let's see, one of these. Oh yes, yeah, so you can actually I don't know if you can see very well. Let me try and get a little closer. But if you look right here, these are actually roots that are forming. So this cluster is rooting. 
Um, to make things easy, yep, right there, you see there's a nice root going down. I'm actually just gonna plant this upright and see if we can get a nice, good root growth. Actually, just kidding. Uh, so you can see I by mistake cut this in half, but no problem. Stress, including damage, just helps plants grow even more in tissue culture. So these are probably gonna grow even better. And I can maybe root this cluster. So again, we wanna keep everything in that gravitational pull. So we're gonna go ahead and push it up and down. Right, up and down. Beautiful. It's a good one. Sorry for the focus. It's all done on my phone, so. Actually, I think just to save space, we're gonna go ahead and You can separate them all out individually when you're really trying to increase your numbers, but just doing a little bit of research right now. Hopefully available in the Etsy store soon enough. Bam, look at that, beautiful. So thanks for, for following along. Um, this leftover callus can actually be put back on media as well, um, and it may turn into more cacti. Um, but I am gonna go directly from the shoots that are already forming, so I'm gonna actually toss this out. Um, if you're working with some medicinal plants, you can go ahead and use this callus as long as it's non-toxic um, for other things. But for now, this is trash. And thanks for, um, not following, thanks for hanging out with me while I just talk, and uh, more videos to come.